Welcome back. Uh, we're going to be starting the prep work on the engine bay. So basically first of all, um, we're going to start to get rid of all the loose rust and um, whatnot around the battery tray and just um, in the bits and pieces of um, in the corners and stuff like that. So um, first things first, what I usually like to do is get a um, wire brush and basically just um, try and get the, the loose rust off first. Um, you can use a flap disc or like a, a orbital sander, um, but I find it just it's just a bit easier to um, less likely for um, loose rust just to get in your eyes and stuff like that. Obviously, wear safety glasses as well and a mask if you if you um, if you want because um, safety is priority at the end of the day. Um, but yeah, just a a good old um, wire brush does the job. Um, basically, just get in there in the corners. Just get that loose rust off and um, basically just give you a good prep and um, and then we can um, continue on sanding the rest of the engine bay. It's also a good idea to grab a couple of these little um, wide brushes. They're just good to get into um, small gaps and stuff like that, like where it's hard to reach spaces, just like in the corners there and basically just real tight where um, obviously the bigger ones can't get into and also behind, as you can see there, behind in here, so yeah. It's always good to grab a couple of the small ones. Alrighty, so we've got most of the uh, flaky rust off, so now we can get into start sanding it with a um, uh, with some sandpaper and uh, and try and get most of the paint off. So we've got a wet and dry sandpaper here. So I usually start off with about a 180 grit, um, then move on to about a 320 as well, and then probably end on a 400. Um, before priming um, and then I'll also use uh, just these scourers, these black scourers they're just good to get into the crevices um, just in all the nooks and crannies as well um, and the hard to hard to reach bit, bits as well underneath and whatnot that you can't usually get with say an orbital sander um, I usually do the engine bay by hand just because of all the, the different contours of the engine bay um, it's just a bit easier just to get into into everywhere with your hand and um, and just requires a bit of patience, but yeah, we'll get there in the end. Probably it for this episode. Um, basically, almost finished the 180 grit um, sanding. Uh, we'll move on to 320 and then 400, and then um, yeah. So next episode is going to be uh, welding up all the holes in the engine bay. Um, so yeah, I'll get my mate to do that, and yeah, join us then.